hello everyone i hope you are learning well so in this video we'll discuss the second problem of lead code weekly contest 359 a medium problem uh, just based on implementation so just do what the problem is saying because of the low constraint and we'll be done right so the problem aim is determine the minimum sum of a k avoiding array okay so it says that you are given two integers n and k okay an array of distinct positive integers is called k avoiding array if there does not exist any pair of distinct elements that sum to k okay return the minimum possible sum of a k avoiding array of length n okay for example n is equals to 5 k is equals to 4 okay so what we have to do we have to make it k avoiding right so i need five elements such that there is no pair there is no pair whose sum is equals to 4 and also the five elements that i need their sum sum should be minimum right so let's do that just see here 1 2 4 5 6 is the answer in this case these are the five elements and if you pick any pair their sum is not equals to 4 right now why we have skipped 3 here if you include 3 what happens sum of 1 and 3 becomes equals to 4 okay so that is why we have removed 3 now remember there are other elements as well you can include 10 you can include 20 but again it says that we have to return the minimum possible sum of k avoiding array so we pick the minimum possible elements right similarly here if you talk about k is equals to 6 n is equals to 2 i can choose 1 and 2 sum is equals to 3 okay and none of the pairs obviously there's just one pair none of the pairs have a sum equals to k right so if you see the constraints are very low what we will do we'll do very simple stuff we'll start from one okay we'll start from one and whenever we are trying to insert a value right we'll try to insert one then two then three dot 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 whenever we are trying to insert a value we'll just check that if i insert this value will it violate my condition or not okay for example first i insert one now insertion means i, I just take a set here uh, to keep a track of which elements have i included and which elements i have not included right so first i see one okay so my set is empty initially I include one no worries i'll take this example okay n equals to five k is to equals to four now the next element i should ideally uh, insert is two because i need the minimum sum right so will inserting to violate the condition no because k is equals to four okay and four minus two is equals to two so do i have a two already no so you can include two then i come to three will inserting three violate the condition let's check that k is equals to four four minus three is equals to one right so one is already present right i am trying to insert three if its corresponding pair is present i should not insert it right so i want to insert three its corresponding pair is one one is already present so i cannot insert three i come to four its corresponding pair is zero so no that's not present you can include it then five you can insert it then six right and the sum of these elements comes out to be 18 that's what we have done here we have taken a hash set i is equals to zero this keeps a track of how many elements have i inserted because i need to insert n elements answer is basically the sum of elements this value is the value that i'm trying to insert right while i is less than n okay now if the set does not contain k minus next right that means its corresponding pair is not present add that to the set now since you have added this element this will also be included in your sum and i plus plus because now i have added one more element out of n elements i have added one more element and at every step you just do next next right because first you write one then two then three dot 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 irrespective of whether you insert the i uh, you know this value or not you actually have to move to the next value right if you insert it well and good or else try the next value and finally return the answer right uh, so yeah this is how you solve this problem uh, do let me know how you solve this problem uh, we can we can learn the other ways from each other right um, this is a brute force solution that i applied uh, because again during the contest uh, seeing the low constraint you apply the brute force solution uh, so yeah i'll be more than happy to uh, you know see what your solutions are and yeah do let me know if you face any issues related to this solution uh, mention that in the comment section and i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye